Hey guys, so um, I'm about to eat lunch, <clears throat> and um, I've never eaten Roy Rogers before, so I kind of wanted to ex share the experience with you guys. Uh, this is only the second vid, so you know, be easy on me. Um, but please do uh, like and follow if you enjoy this video. So let's get right into it. This uh, drink I got um, fan of birch beer, so I guess it's sort of like root beer with like Fanta's twist on it. I, I never really knew the difference between birch beer and root beer. I know that I can taste the difference like there's a difference between bark, barks, um, uh, the regular root beer and birch beer, but I don't know, I can't um, explain the exact difference in taste. But anyway, let's get right to it. If I can get the straw in the cup. It's like, um, and it's not that strong. I hate fountain soda sometimes because they just so watered down. Um, it's almost like more of that root beer candy-ish taste. Like, you know that those little barrel candies, root beer candies? It's like that kind of taste. But um, I got... Uh, Um, chicken. I got breast and two wings. Pretty nice size wing, actually. <laughs> you look at it beside my face. It's a pretty nice size wing. The breast is pretty huge, too. Looks nice and crispy and fresh, and it's definitely hot. I'm ready to put it down. <laughs> I don't know what. Um, I got a side of fries. And they were nice and fresh and hot. Roy Rogers. So I want to jump into one of these fries. Mmm. It is nice and fresh and hot. It definitely is. I'm in my truck, as you can see. So I got to kind of make do with the space that I have which is not too much and um and yes I eat the bag fries I think they are um some of my best fries <laughs> the, the bag fries so and I got something they had like this promotion for um gold rush sauce so I got some on Roy Rogers uh the gold rush sauce so it has all these different ingredients. Um, one of the ingredients is caramel color. Lord knows I probably shouldn't put this in my body, but my well, you only live once. YOLO! YOLO! But, oh yeah, and I got me a brownie for dessert. But I wanna see what this, um, this sauce tastes like. I'm going to put it on one of these fries. And these are really good fries. Like, they have that good consistency that it's not too crunchy, not too soft. And, um, I mean, they're like, I got to turn the air off, y'all. Sorry. It's getting cold, making my food cold. Um, they're like just right. So let's get some of that sauce on here. And it has a pretty color. It really is gold rush sauce. It has a pretty color. Mm. I can smell it before you went on my mouth and it smells really, really good. So it almost tastes like um, barbecue sweet and sour and hot mustard mixed together. And I'm almost sure that's probably what it is. Um, but yeah, it, it does have a really, really pretty um, color and smell to it. I usually don't really, I'm not that person that smells that food all the time, but I figured why not. But, um, and I usually don't sit here and do this. I would have just poured it all over, but I don't know how much I like it yet. I'm going to go for a second bite. And, um, I'm so rude. I didn't even offer y'all one. Y'all want a bite? Sorry. Hmm. Hmm. I didn't 
didn't get any napkins. Luckily, I had some. Keep them on deck, you know. But, um, yeah. The biscuit is a little browner than I would have liked, but. Mm, it's fresh. And nice and buttery. It's not hard. I guess that's just how they do that. It's golden brown. It's good, though. It really is good. Oh, let's talk, y'all. I'm going to tell you, my customers tripped me out. Um, <laughs> you know, because some of them are really, really nice and sweet. Like, super, super sweet. Like, give me water and stuff. I'm going to just pour some of this on my fries. See that pretty grilled and brown color? That's pretty good sauce. Okay, uh, Roy Rogers. Sorry, y'all got a little bit of, um, ADD. I'll go off topic. I'll go on tangents. But, at any rate, um, you know, my, I know that was nasty. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I be thugging it on the route, I be thugging it, I gotta do what I gotta do, but yeah, um, some of my customers are like super, super rude, unnecessarily, sometimes I'm everything but a child of God, but honey, guess what, I came to do my job, I came to deliver these packages, and I'm trying to go home the same way I came, or better, that's it. Like, I don't want to mess up your groove, but I'm surely not going to let you mess up mine. But, like, they, I mean, they just act like I owe them something. Like, all I owe you is your package. That's it. You know, people want me to bring the packages in the house. Like, ma'am, that is not my job. I'm not a mover. I'm not, like, no, I'm not a furniture putter together person. Like, I don't know what it's, a furniture assembler. Like, no, ma'am, I'm your delivery person. And it's FedEx Ground, FedEx Home Delivery. I deliver to your home, not in your home, to your home. It's a big difference. But um, <laughs> I digress. I ain't going to trip off my customers. But um, do y'all, and the reason why I haven't gotten to the chicken yet, because I'm big on eating my fries while they're hot. So who wants a cold fry? Mm. And that fry tastes just like a potato, like, like, a, like if I was eating a baked potato. Wow. That's where I was, just like as if, as if I was eating a baked potato. And these, these are like, I don't think they cut them fresh every day, but they're less processed than most fries. Like, McDonald's fries are super processed. Very, very good. Don't sleep with McDonald's fries. A lot of the other stuff I really don't eat anymore, but your fries still one of the best. <laughs> but they're not. The very process. So I'm gonna I'm get into this brush, y'all. But um, yeah, I, I I just trip off stuff. And you know what? So as y'all can see, um, I don't have twists in right now. I took them out because the back was just like not long enough to um make the locks in the back stay in. Maybe once my hair grows, I'll try to lock it again. I don't know, but as of right now. I'ma just, you know, try some different things with my hair is growing as you can see. But I got it up. So and um like most people don't get to see my face too much because I always got a hat on. Or um like I don't know. But today a lot of people were like, Oh, you're just so cute. You have a beautiful face. And I was like, as opposed to other days I don't. <laughs> like, what you mean? And I, I was just tripping like you were like, you just, I could tell when you were a girl. I was like, pause, girl. Pause, wait, what? When I was a what? Um, I'm still a girl. I mean, I'm a woman, but I'm still a female. <laughs> like, never not was one. Just a rugged one. Like, mmm. 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 The skin. It's really, really good. 
It was nice and crunchy, but not too much, and it's seasoned really, really well. It almost reminds you of, um, hmm, what's that chicken? Um, I feel like, um, I'm thinking of, like, a chicken franchise like that caters almost like hip hop or something like that, but it's not hip hop flavor. Um, hmm. Hmm. It's very good though. Chicken is nice and juicy. Chicken is nice and juicy. It's really, really good. Okay, Roy Rogers. Okay. I see you. I have people watching y'all. That's all. Like, I'm very observative like that. For one, I always watch my surroundings. Because I am in this truck. And I don't want anyone to try to take advantage of me while I'm in the truck. And then, you know, I have a lot on the line. I can't lose these people's packages. I don't have the money to replace it. You know, I'm not trying to afford to lose my job. I got to maintain my bills. But... I also just people watch. <laughs> I keep my head on the swivel, but I always people watch. Um, and I'm in a very um, suburban kind of area. So I'm watching to see who's watching me too. Because I am an oddity. You know, even though it's 2019, to see a woman of color. And this kind of neighborhood is still not a, a, you know, it's really not a big thing. Hopefully that will change one day because I want to move out here and become a black farmer. That is one of my goals, to be one of the only female black farmers, you know, and to be a pioneer. I'm sure there are already some. And I will go back and fact check that. But I'm sure there are already some, but probably not in this area so much. But, um, I definitely, uh, that is one of the goals because if I want to, when I have the financial means to start just buying black, shout out to, uh, Killer Mike, um, cause I, I would love to just be able to buy black and, you know, give to my community what we've been missing, have offered the opportunity to buy black produce from black marketers and buy and the black marketers be able to buy produce buy their you know produce in bulk from black farmers and um you know just completely have black businesses that we can venture into and not only keeping the community keeping the family but to also build up our empire you know we we as african americans as people of color period are so underappreciated and undershadowed in in American society and even in the world, you know, we still praise, you know, the world still praises the the the, the Caucasians or the lighter skinned people, and there's nothing wrong with, um, you know, uh, acknowledging their um, advances and you know their their attributes and and things they've given to the world. But what about all the things that African American and brown people have done? But you still have the common middle class or lower class African Americans suffering and living in poverty and living in despair. And you know, I'm I've never received a food stamp, um, a, a government assistance check, any kind of anything. I've always worked. I've had a job since I was 13 years old. And you know, um, I'm, I'm still struggling. You know, I work a decent job. I work six days a week all hours of the day from the morning until it's dark and i'm still struggling you know it's still not a, a plethora of opportunities for black employees to be able to open up their own contracts and you know it's just 
we could be a lot farther. And I think if we just were able to build each other up instead of having that crab in a barrel mentality, you know, stop hating on the next man that's coming up. Celebrate them. Join with them. So that we can have the option to not just buy from predominantly white industries, but we have a black industry that is so strong that we are our true competitors, that we are, you know, able to provide and build in our own communities. I don't know, man. But this chicken is really, really, really good. Um... I think I'm gonna put some of that sauce on it. But yeah, it's um, it's crazy. I'll tell you one thing. I really have tried to stop eating chicken on multiple occasions. I've done it for maybe a couple days, maybe a month. Um, but it's really, really hard. Like I don't eat beef and pork like I used to. I maybe eat some bacon every now and then, or maybe I have a burger if I'm really, 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 really craving one. You know, I'm not going to lie, I don't eat it often at all. I used to eat it all the time. I don't eat it often. You know, every now and then I do. But I don't think I could go vegan. I really don't. And I know people say, yeah, you can it. Listen. Mm. The texture and juiciness from that chicken, you're not going to get that anywhere else. Tofu. That was a guy I was speaking to in the restaurant. He was really, really nice. Tofu and pho. I don't know if I could do it. I don't know if I could do it. It is good. Like, I've had some tofu wings that my sisters gave me because they are, um, one's a vegan and one is a vegetarian. Super, super, super good. But, nah. <laughs> nah. Um, not consistently. And it might be because I was brought up on it, but at the same time, I, I feel like it's not as filling or not as comforting. And I know you shouldn't try to find comforting food, but it's a reality. It's, that's this is that's a reality. As human beings, we do find comfort in food a lot of the time. You just can't. You can't go to it for everything. That can't be your automatic go-to. You know, but there's nothing wrong with finding comfort in food. We're supposed to have enjoyment in this life. You just got to find the medium and the balance to everything. That's all it is. Just find a balance to everything in life. Um, I don't know, y'all. But. My time is ticking. I got to go back to work. But you all have a blessed day. Please be safe. Think wisely. Think about others and your decisions. And prayerfully, they'll do the same. Um, live, love, learn, y'all. Peace and blessings.